So yesterday we have seen all this about associative memory. Till this point we have gone. Till this point. Can anyone uh, uh, speak? Whether we, uh, you people have seen yesterday, I was talking about this. Told many times, and there in the presentation mode, you unmute and talk, talk to me. Yesterday, till what portion you people have seen? Akanksha, is there? Yes, sir. Uh, you can unmute and keep uh, asking. It's a sort of like a begging almost. They link that to someone unmute and talk, someone unmute and talk. Why you people are not responding? How is it possible? We are virtually connected. There you are, I am here. Only possibility is communication. If you don't make communication, how is it possible for me? You kindly help me yesterday with the, uh, this portion we, uh, you people have seen. I was talking about this. This equation, sir. You are talking about this. Yesterday you have seen, right? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, okay. What about this one? Yesterday? No, sir. You didn't explain that. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. But uh, Akanksha, kindly at least you unmute and talk to me when I, I am questioning here something. Okay, sir. Okay, thanks. So, guys, uh, let me again explain. Uh, from this, we lost the connectivity yesterday. This uh, match logic. This match logic, you see here, this one. This one is the match logic. Now, finally, this is our argument, argument uh, register. This is our key register. So, two registers here. If you see here, this one, this entire is our argument register. This entire is our key. And here is a word here. So, meaning what? Here at this one, one point here, at one point, Three things are coming in. That is, one is the argument bit, key bit, and the word bit. These three are going to this cell, one cell. This is one cell. Likewise, everywhere happening, everywhere. This is second cell. This is nth cell. This is nth cell. So, everywhere happening. Wherever I mean, once this is complete, this all n words are ma matched. I mean, matching this this word is matching with the argument. This word is matching with the argument. Then this bit is set to one. This is called this entire thing is called actually match register. This is the entire thing is a your match. So match register it is. So this match register having several bits. How many bits are having means yum yum bits are there yum. You know yum here why because yum. This is this is because here starting with one, ending with yum. How many words are there total? Yum words are there here. Every word has got how many bits? How many bits? N bits. N bits. If this word is matching with this argument register, then the corresponding bit in the match register is set. That's all you have to know. Now, what is that you are studying? How this this particular cell is actually functioning? This one cell, because this one cell is taking. You see here. If you see here, this one cell is taking this argument register, key register, and word. One cell. So that is what represented here. This, if you see, this one, this 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 one match logic here. This is one cell. If you see here, one cell of associative memory. One cell. This is the cell. This is the cell. One cell. This one cell you having inside this complete logic, you know, this is your P, I, J. So that is coming here, 
argument register bit, e bit, and your word bit. So that is going to the match log, and that is setting the corresponding match register bit. That is here if you see this match register bit that is set here. So now about this we have seen yesterday. So let me clear everything. So this we have seen yesterday, this match word. What is that we said yesterday? If this is equal to this one. What is this one? Argument which has got A1, A2, like that, how many bits are the total? N bits are there, N bits. That is what is J, J corresponds to, here if you see, Total n. So this is n total one, two, until n. And what is f? What is this one here? This. Uh, let me take another uh, color here. This one. This one is a f one, and j as you know. J, as you know, it is, it is this one. Meaning, first word, n bits. Like that, F2, it could be F2J also. Meaning, second word, n bits. Likewise. So, every bit, it is equal. Meaning, 1 is equal to 1. 0 is equal to 0. Then, match occurred. How do we represent this entire thing in a Boolean expression? This is how we represent. This is true form 1. This is also in a true form 1. This is complement form 0 bar. Uh, uh, and this is 0 bar. So either this should happen or this should happen. In either case, this is matched. So xj is set to 1 in either case. Is that clear? Having any doubts there? I count down here about this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. So where xj is 1, the pair of bits in a position j equal. Otherwise, xj is 0. So this about this expression. So that is known to you. No doubts about that. Now coming to this portion, if such all bits, this is first bit, this is nth bit. So what we are doing, every cell we are taking, C, 1, 1, and then C, 1, 2, and then C, 1, 3. How, how long we have to go? C, 1, N. And then next, T, second word. C21, C22, and then C23. How long we have to go? C2, N. Meaning what? This is the second word here. This is the second word. And how many bits are there? Yes. This is the first word. How many bits are there? In the first word, N bits are there. So every corresponding bit here, this is this is for this corresponding X1. This is for this x2. Likewise, this is for the x. So if this is 1, and this is also 1, and this is also 1, meaning what? All are matched, right? All are matched. Argument, every bit is matched with the corresponding bit. Corresponding, that is, f, i, j. That word bit. So every argument bit is matched with the word bit. That is indicated with the this one. So if that is happening with every bit, n bits, like that, like that, n bits, then everything is a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, then that m, i is equal to 1, meaning match occur. Is that clear to everyone there? This one, is that clear? Again, nobody responded. I only have to count down. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. 
So now what we do is now this K we are introducing. Earlier so far we did not introduce K. If you see throughout this F I J and this AJ only we talked about these two only. You see here the A and F. And if you see here only X, that is this one, this portion. So now we are introducing this K because match logic, this match logic has got, you see this match logic has got K also here, K also, along with the, this A and F I J, it has also got K. So that's why we are taking K also into the count. So let us go to that one. Let me clear me one here. Now here, if you observe, this is, you know, you everyone got to know what an XJ is. XJ is, again, for everyone I'm repeating, argument bit and word bit. Word bit. This is, let us put J. So, argument bit and word bit. Like that, how long we have to go? Till N. This last one is A, N. And this is also N. I is a word, first word, second word, like that. So that is what this entire thing is. This, this X, X, J. Now we are introducing it with that K also, key. Now if you see this carefully, when K is 1, so what is this expression? X plus K bar. That is what this expression is. If K happens to be 1, if K is 1, if K is 1, meaning this is 0, no? This is becoming 0. When K is 1, this, is, this entire thing is becoming 0. Entering becoming zero means now what is the output? Output is decided by whom? Output is decided by x. If x happens to be zero, output will be zero. If x happens to be one, output will be one. Is that clear? This one again. Uh, yeah. This one again uh, uh, I will put in the hardware. If we have R gate, we have R gate. Now this is your R gate. You are putting here uh, x, x, i, and this one I am tying to let us say 1. First case is this. I am putting 1 here. All the time, irrespective of your x, i, all the time, what is the output? 1. For all the, all the time, irrespective of your x, i, just because the other input, second input is, first input is x, i, Second input is 1. Irrespective of your first input, output of this R gate will be all the time 1. So meaning what? 1 will not decide 1. If you tie the second input to the 1, this will not decide what is Xi. We, there is no way that we, we will know what is Xi. Xi may be 0, Xi may be 1. Irrespective of 0 and 1, your output is all the time 1. Just because you tied the second input to the 1. R gate is behaving like that. Now let us take uh, this one. You are tying to 0. Now whatever it comes to Xi, that Xi I can write happily here. Because if Xi happens to be 0, what is output? 0. If Xi happens to be 1, what is output? 1. So meaning what if this is the case, this is the case, this is the second input is 0, then only we will know that this is xi is maybe 0, maybe 1. For that reason, here, this expression is like that. Which expression? This expression that we see here. When kj is 1, this is the expression written. X plus K bar. This is X J plus K J bar. That is this one. You, you, I think you agree now. Because earlier we demonstrated here with the help of K. Why it is like that X J. And you agree when this is the case. Uh, let me take another level. 
when this is the case, when this is zero. Meaning this portion will become because of kj bar, it, it will become one. Just because of one, irrespective of your xj, your output all the time it will be one. I think you agree this portion, is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's how a term xj plus kj bar will be one, will be in the one state if its pair of bits is not compared. You, this is the point that we have to make a note. What is this point is telling? A term, this term, this term, xj plus kj bar will be in one state. This is the state, one state. If its pair bits is not compared, its pair bits are not compared. Meaning, this is one. I am tying to one. Irrespective of compare, irrespective of this one, we are taking into consideration. When what is comparison? When zero is equal to zero, when one is equal to one, then we is, we are setting x i as a one. If this comparison, this comparison, if these two are the same. If these two are same, this is one. X x i is one. That is what we here study. This one. If this is one, and this is one, or if this is zero and this is, then this is set to comparison is done here. This simple comparison also. But what happens if you tie this to one? Is is this taking place? Meaning it is not taking place because all the time output is one. Irrespective of your this comparison, you are not comparing irrespective of your x i. But if you tie this one to zero, now comparison happens. If x i happens to be a zero, then output is zero. If x i happens to be one, then output will be one. So this 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 scenario is taking place. That's what a term x j plus k j bar will be in the one state if its pair of bits is not compared. Is that clear to everyone there? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So this is necessary because each term and uh, let me clear everything. So this is necessary, meaning putting this, this sort of condition is necessary because each term is and we are going to and them. This entire thing we are going to and them. So multiple because we have not only one no we have total c i to c n so everywhere we have to carry out this so ultimately so this is happening this is coming out means we should have and this with all other terms so that an output of one will have no effect the comparison of the bits has an effect only when kj is one comparison of the effect meaning this is seen on the output only when this is one. Otherwise, there is no uh, comparison because if kj is set to uh, zero, all the time it is one. So, but this point you will see now here shortly. This this one, this statement theory, if you don't understand, no issues with that. Let us talk about practically about about this one. Practically, is this? If this needs to be set to one. When we set to one this M, yeah, MI register, uh, that is this one. This one set to be one. When when this argument is equal to this one. That's what we, we said earlier. This one. This argument bits are equal to this word bit where there is a one. So here is a one. One, one, one. Are they equal comparison is happening here where there is a one? There only comparison is happening. So since here not matching, no match. In this here, if you see word two and this argument, where where your k bits are set to one, then only comparison happening. So this is where we're able to locate that yes, this is matching. So that's why we put a match. This entire entire example is this this one. This one enter example. This, this and this. That's what here we are telling. 
this one anded here this is anded here this this here this is anded here are anded like that till n all and operation will perform if this is one this is one this is one this is one, then only this mi will do if this is matched and but this is not matched meaning zero and everything is matching means entire world did that match no are you getting the point everybody there what i'm trying to here whenever k is one then only match occurring here you see k is one then only match occurring whatever is there whatever is there on the input that is seen on the output match match here both are matching when k k is zero there is no match here because in respect to of your xi this is the output is all the time one there is no match at all input and output not matching when kj is zero for that reason match in order to happen the match we are writing this boolean expression if this boolean expression is written when k is one then only match is happening that's what we are putting here this is for for the first word here this is for the first word this is for uh, first bit sorry first bit this is for the second bit this is for the third bit the nth bit if match happening when k is one everywhere k is there you notice k you notice k everywhere k is there. so wherever k is one then only match up is that clear this expression is that clear to everyone there yes sir Okay, so now finally, now what we do is we know this x x expression we already derived where this one, this one, this is our x expression x. So this x expression you you have to remember this this figure you have to remember this figure a j f i j plus a j bar f i j bar this figure you have to remember this figure what you have to do is. Here you you notice here this one x one x three and then x n is nothing but our x j. So this x j earlier I said you remember this figure. This figure you are, you have to substitute this figure. And this is your k j. You are generalizing this one here. This one this entire thing instead of k one k one bar k two bar k three bar. You are generalizing here like a kj bar, and you are putting this. You know this is this this one used in mathematics. When it is used in mathematics, anyone we use pi and we use sigma. Anyone uh, can come on. Pi means product, sir. Sigma is summation. Uh, yes, absolutely correct. Thank you. This is for summation. This is for product. You see the product here everywhere. This is the product happening. This this first uh, first bit is in product pro, is in, in in product with the the second bit. Second bit is in product multiplied multiplied with the the third. Bit. That's why this entire thing is here like that kept. This is pi is kept because this product is happening here. So that we brought here into the picture, and we what we are doing is we are eliminating this x. This x, x with the eliminating it means so we are substituting in fact. This x is substituted with the this previously obtained here. This this x is nothing but this one, you know. So that is what we are substituting here. This one substituted with the this one. Hopefully this is clear to everyone. No issues with that. Remember in external exam, hundred percentage. For six or seven marks, write about match logic. Will come. In that case, what you have to write from here, you have to start from this this portion. This figure you have to write, and you have to write that there is a cell, and the cell internal is this one, and there is a match logic, and the match logic functions like this. This entire thing is all what we have discussed. This one, this one, and this one. And till this portion, you have to. This is for six marks. So remember, everything is important here, or every bit I am talking here. So now what we do is, this is what we have put for every cell. 
this is the figure this theory is every theory this, this this you know from here this point onwards this till this point we discuss this entire theory this uh, this entire theory here this one all this this portion this portion this entire theory is this figure so this figure i will explain that instead talking about the theory i will explain the figure this one is one set one self that is c i j you can call this is let me take another color here this one is the entire one set another set this is again last cell let us put a last cell like that this one you see this one this one is the last cell p i what i have put here n i have put because first word i i word it is it is a i i word i i the word it is every word has got n bits starting from this to j to n j stands here 1 to n so this is uh, first day second cell first cell second cell like that this is n cell so now let us start about this bit you see here in expression this is coming here if you see this is what this is coming here f for bar f bar is coming here to this and gate first and gate first and gate output will obtain first and gate output is this if you see f five f bar i will put here simply f bar and if you see this one here this this one this is going here to here this one that is a bar a bar and second second and gate is this second and gate is this one straight coming here that is f and this is from here it is from here to here this one that is your a bar uh, sorry a it is in true form it is not bar it is in true form so this is second and gate now if you see here this this portion what is happening that is third gate third gate is r gate so third gate output is you see this one here what is this k bar this is the k bar k bar plus this this first gate second gate r r dear first and this entire thing is a r gate is r gate so that is what we got here right is this one this one this one this one and this one so that we got no here that we got no here this r gate now finally what we have to do we have to product multiply that is what we are doing now okay where is that uh, this one see this one let me take a pen here this one this one this one this one nothing but this one this one nothing but your product you are performing multiplication multiplication nothing but and gate this is and is that clear this 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 math logic uh, uh, is that clear Yes, sir. Okay. So the now that's all, guys. Here yeah, about this uh, entire uh, your what is this? The moment. How many seventeen slides here yeah, about this your associative memory? Remember, just let me. Uh, i think this uh, this is not in the presentation mode uh, ppt still is this visible yes sir okay yes sir okay. this associative memory here if you see this theory itself right about associative memory this theory you know this entire theory this one this one and this one uh, so this one two three this theory also is a one one question one type of question write about associative memory for three marks or sometimes for four marks sometimes they will give some three sub questions they say that write any uh, of the two uh, below given or following two something like that 
so in that case this theory this first slide theory second slide theory third slide theory that is enough now coming to another question another another form of question of this associative memory so for six months it will be coming how associative memory will function Do, uh, be explain with an example with an example how associative memory will function explain it with a neat diagram or with an example in that case this theory briefly if you write one or two lines and then straight you have to go to this hardware organization hardware organization this this one and uh, this this one this this slide and this slide and uh, that's it that's it if you write uh, this portion till this portion that is starting from uh, here that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 these six slides these six slides write about with an example explain how associative memory functions so these six slides so far two questions over now the third question third question is write about match logic in the associative memory explain how the match logic this match logic works in the associative memory so in that case from this slide onwards that is 10th slide onwards this one one then this one let us say count one two three four five six seven eight these eight slides these eight slides about match logic so this also will come for six months or more minimum six maximum uh, ten possibly right match logic of the associative memory and similarly i was talking about till this portion you have to write here this portion so those are the slides for hardware organization of the associative memory how associative memory functions write about how associative memory functions with a neat diagram so that in that case only this slides one two three four five six so this also will come for Minimum six, maximum it could be ten. And uh, sometimes for twelve marks, write about associative memory functioning and also match logic. Twelve marks. Then these six slides plus those eight slides. If you write, then that is that is complete. Uh, you know, uh, twelve marks. So based on marks, we have to carefully look at the question. What is being asked? Accordingly, we have to perform. If only write any of the two uh, following, in that case, one, two, three, four. Sorry, this three. One, two, three. That's it. If you write that much briefly about the associative point files, see the point files here. One, two, three, four. Like the points are there. Every bullet here. This is called bullet. So every bullet is a point. So this point files, if you write. That five marks or uh, four marks, you will get. You will get. Write about the associative memory. In such questions, if you write this one, you will get further. That means. And sometimes, uh, for the safe side, you include this also. This figure also you include. Even in that, write about the following two, any of the two, three, even any of the two. So in that case, in safe side, one, two, three, include this also. So that is for five marks. Write about associative memory, how it functions, like that. How it functions, it's not about, not the question is simply write about associative memory. Explain how associative memory functions. In that case, this, if, if you write only this much, it is not enough. You have to write, you, you can skip this portion, but you, can, you have to start from this hardware argument. This, this the entire uh, four, six slides are there, no? only as I said, then you have to write. So, this slide contains total how many questions? Three questions. Remember, total 20 slides are there. In the 20 slides, how many questions uh, can be framed? Three, three questions can be framed. So now let us go to the end part of this. This is the read operation, write operation. So this read operation is somewhere here. So if you see, there is uh, this one. This when read, when write, that is brief. Examination point of view it is uh, possibly not that important, but safe side I am just explain. 
Now coming to the end portion of how many left only one, two, three. With that we complete associating. So let us go to this one. Slide more. So if more than one word in the memory, let me take again. Uh, if more than one word in, me in a memory matches the unmasked argument field. You know unmasked argument field? Where all are one here? All the matched words will have once in the corresponding bit position of the match register. If more than one word in the memory, this one we are talking about. If this is matched, word one match, somewhere word I match. So corresponding this bit will be set to one. That is what the point is saying. More than one word in memory matches the unmasked argument field. All the matched words will have once in the corresponding bit position of the match register. That is very obvious. It is then necessary to scan the bits of the match register one at a time. So here how to scan these bits to read it's one at a time from from sequential if you if you go first bit is scanned. If it is set, then it is read. If it is not set, then it comes to the M2. Likewise, sequentially it will go order. So one at a time. So that is what this the second point is. Very easy. It is then necessary to scan the bits of the match register one at a time. The matched words are read in sequence by applying a read signal to each word line whose corresponding M bit is 1. So this is also again very obvious. In most applications, the associative memory stores a table with no two identical items under a given key. In this case, only one word may match the unmasked argument field. This is also again very uh, straightforward. So we have this argument register here. This is one A. I am keeping simply A argument register. And here you have the key. Your key. And you have set of words here. That is I'm putting like a one, two, three. These are the words. No two words. One and third. So how many here? Same. Let us say this is same. Uh, how to represent? Let us say X and this is also X. So one and three same, no? Same words. So that is what in most applications, associative memory stores a table with uh, no two identical items. It will not keep in a memory this identical. It will keep only one. It, it will not keep two identical in its uh, storage space. Is, is that clear this point? Okay. Yes, sir. So the, in this case, only one word may match the unmasked argument. That is very obvious. So obviously, since one 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 uh, word is there, one uh, one will be matched. So by connecting output M, this M, directly to the read line in the same word position instead of M, instead of the M register, meaning here if you go here, this one, this is entire register. Don't give entire register a read signal. That the statement is telling. Don't give entire register read signal. Give individual bit a read signal. Here is a read. Here is a read. Here is a read. The individual bits. That's what this. Is. This one. By connecting output M directly to the read line. In the same word position. Same word position means. That, that bit will come instead of M register. The, the, the content of the matched word will be presented automatically at the output line and no special read command signal is needed. This is also very obvious. Uh, so directly you have to give read signal to the each, each, each uh, uh, that uh, M, M register bits like earlier I shown here. That the response. The moment the moment this this word match occurred, 
this is the read is there whenever read is high this is this can be read out separately we don't need to put a read and it should not be given to every bit or, or a complete register something we don't need to do for every individually it is the moment this this happens this is read out the moment this happens this is read out so that is what this point is of purpose so furthermore if we exclude words having zero content uh, and this is another hard, uh, idea if we exclude zero content all zero output will indicate that no match occurred and that searched item is not available in the memory that is also very obvious so that's why this is examination point as it may not be that much important but you have to remember how to read how to read this entire points how many 1 2 3 Four, five, six points. You re just remember examination point. Actually, this may not be that important, but you have to remember how to read. So, how to read means point number one is argument register. Key register will be there. No two words will be of the same type. I mean, same contents. This word one is there. Word two is there. And uh, associative memory will not hold here also x and here also x. It will not hold. That's the first first point in the read operation. The second point is. For every corresponding uh, word match occurred, the corresponding bit of the uh, match register will be set to one. So instead of giving to the entire match register read signal control signal, you give to the corresponding. Whenever the match occurred, its read is high, then corresponding uh, word will be read out. Instead, uh, uh, giving to the entire register this read signal. That is the second point of observation. The third point is. If we exclude the words having zero content, obviously in the in the match register if there is zero content, why should we check this one zero content? Why should we give the read signal to that? So that is really is not required. So that is the third. So that that's all about this read operation. So the, now coming to the write operation. How do you write inside the uh, associative memory? An associative memory must have write capability for storing information to be searched. writing in in a in an associative memory can take different forms depending on the application so there are several ways to write here depending on the application this is the second point that is we have to remember if the entire memory is loaded with a new information entire memory is loaded with a new information get once prior to search operation then the writing can be done by Addressing each location in C this is something important. What is important? If the entire memory is loaded with new information at once prior to search operation, meaning this is your memory. This location is this location is uh, stored with uh, some new content, completely new content. Earlier it was X. Now we are storing with a Y. Let us say it's a new, completely new. No, earlier X. Now Y. So it's a new information. X at one prior to search operation. We did not start searching now. Then writing can be done by addressing each location in sequence. This is something uh, we are talking about uh, RAM sort of uh, application where each location here addressing each location. Because contained addressable memory is not having any uh, any addresses. This is something about RAM. This is another memory, associative memory. Before writing anything into the associative memory, we write here in the main memory. This is the main memory. This is associative memory. Before writing anything into the associative memory, in the main memory, if complete word is cha changed, the content X earlier but later Y. So a complete new information. So what we do is first we write here itself with a new address. Thereafter, what we do, let us see. This will make a device a random access memory for writing and and contained addressable memory for reading. So this is what the idea is. For, while writing, this we have to follow. Is that clear to everyone? Am I confusing here? This point, these two points. Uh, one more time. One more time. I will repeat. Uh, there after if you have queries yours while writing we follow the ram ram structure that is what is random access memory 
while writing we follow the address sort of thing from location will be there like it is zero location it is 100 and it is 120 so let us say in 120 earlier there was x now a complete new information we have to write that is one so how do we follow we follow addressing each each location in sequence so that is how we follow we go by the sequence and where that 120 new information is to be put at 120th location there we put this new information here this is while writing while writing but while searching this will make a device this this memory device this this memory device this will make a random access memory while writing and the contained addressable memory for reading for while reading we don't follow this this address these addresses we don't follow how we read by searching operation that why is there or not in the contain memory that entire earlier what we discussed how we search this is how we search how we search this is how we search this is how we search argument register key register and the word that needs to be searched the word needs to search it is there already in the memory or that is why this time what is the argument what i want to search now i want to search why this is while searching but while writing what we are doing we are adopting this sort of style ram style while writing ram is followed while searching address is not followed this is followed this is followed this for searching guys not for writing this is for searching so how do you search this is how this mechanism you adapt for searching you don't follow the address where the address is so that is contained address uh, and contained addressable memory for reading reading nothing but you want to search where the contents are the advantage here let me let me get your response here is that here this this one and two points yes sir so the advantage here is that the address for the input can be decoded as in random access mode. This is uh, this is same point here. This point where which, which one? For this address is decoded. The advantage here is that address for input can be decoded. Address for input can be decoded as in random access mode. This is known because it's a without address you cannot write. Thus, instead of having m address lines, one for each word in memory, the number of address lines can be reduced by the decoder uh, D lines, where m is. This is something like uh, like this. If we have something zero, one, uh, two, or uh, three. So if I have two power two, two power two nothing but four possibilities. So meaning I have zero 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 one one zero one one. Now what I do, I put here my first word m zero location, m one location, m two location, uh, and m three location. When zero zero comes, this is activated. This location is activated, and all others are. When 0, 1 comes, this address is activated, all others are set to 0. When this is coming, then this is set to 1, uh, one and all others are 0. When this comes, this is set and all others are 0. This sort of does the, instead of having M address lines, 1 for each word in the memory, the number of address lines can be reduced by the decoder D lines, meaning here instead of having a uh, sort of this is sort of for this one zero one two so to address this uh, Possibly two wires, zero one, 
and one zero one one. Year two, year two, year two, year two. How many years put together this uh, total? Two plus two, four, four plus two, six, six plus two. Total eight different lines here. Address line for addressing this this uh, this location. There is a, some some mechanism like that. This. Are you getting this point? What I'm trying to make here. For zero zero, let us say we are putting here for zero one two three. We have four four locations. Let us say zero one two three. In binary, how we are decoding? For zero zero zero, for one zero one, for two one zero, for three one one. So this is the binary binary uh, uh, way of representing this decimal, right? Is that clear? Now for representing this zero zero, two wires are required here if we want to communicate this location. And zero one two wires are required. One zero two wires are required for everywhere. Uh, this is uh, two wires are required for everywhere like that. Now what we can do instead of doing like this mechanism, if we put a decoder, then earlier what what we people have seen for zero 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 one one zero one one. Instead of instead instead of this approach, if we put a decoder approach, then we can do with only four four. Uh, That is uh, M zero, M one, M two, M three. With only four wires, we can uh, we can enable these locations instead of this approach. This, this approach, if decoder approach is there, okay. This is direct addressing. This is direct how you connect to the addresses. Don't connect directly to the addresses that way. You connect some with some mechanism. There's some mechanism is a decoder mechanism. In that case, what you can do, you can able to minimize the number of wires required to connect. Is that clear at this point? Yes, sir. Okay. 